How you doing everybody? This is Kurt Henry at the Mortgage Center and we are mortgage brokers. We work with multiple banks and lenders just to get you the best uh, mortgage when you're, getting a, a, uh, when you're getting a mortgage. And this is a weekly mortgage update just to let you know what's going on in the mortgage market. So in terms of, of mortgage rates, a five-year fixed rate is in around 2.69 or 2.59%. And a variable rate is around 2.05 or so. Those could be a little bit higher or lower, just depending on the situation. In terms of uh, the summertime, and uh, I thought it would be good to talk about buying a cottage. So if you're interested in buying a cottage, there's a couple things to keep in mind. Banks normally uh, look at a cottage as either a type A or a type B property. So a type A property is one where you could think of it as, as basically like, uh, like a house, for example. So, um, you know, it would have um, a permanent foundation, so just like a normal foundation type uh, situation. Um, it would have like uh, a three-piece bathroom, a bedroom, a, um, a common area. You know, it would have year-round access. Um, it would have a permanent heat source. So, you know, if it's, um, if it's baseboard heating or a, or a furnace, for example, these are all type A type properties. Um, also, uh, the water source is, is another one. So the water source can be on a well or it would be municipally serviced. Um, either way, that's basically a type A property. So like I said, it's kind of like a house uh, situation. A type B property is more cottagey in the sense that um, a type B property, it, it's acceptable to not have a permanent heat source. So in other words, if it's a stove or a, or a fireplace is the, is the heat source, then that's okay for a type B property. Um, or if the foundation is floating, if it's sitting on blocks, uh, then that's fine for a type B property. If it's seasonal road access, then that's fine as well. If the water is not drinkable, then that's okay, but there just normally has to be running water. And, uh, and only boat access is acceptable if it's a type B property. So the key thing with a type A and a type B property when you're buying a cottage is that a type A property requires 5% down. You can buy a cottage with 5% down if it's a type B pro or a type A property. And if you're looking at a type B property, then you have to have at least 10% down. Uh, so it's called a secondary residence and you can in fact buy a cottage therefore with 5 or 10% down. Uh, if you have any questions on that, just give us a call. Phone number at the office here is 905-436-8010. Thanks and have a great day.